happy October everybody it's been a while since I did a video for you guys and I had a few extra minutes uh, at the end of the day here so I figured I'd come by and say hello I wanted to check in to see how you're doing we have 65 days left till the end of the year but more importantly to the end of the decade and I did not even think of that someone um, messaged me on Instagram and was like it's actually the end of the decade and I was like oh Thinking back, sorry, a bug just went by, 2009, I was in a very different place than I am now. And just a quick background, then I'll get to what I'm telling you. In 2008, when the market crashed and everything went downhill, my husband and I were newly married in September. We were both laid off before our wedding. I got a new job, and when we got back from our honeymoon, I was laid off again. <laughs> so we were laid off. I was laid off until June of 2009, and I think he was laid off till February of 2010. Um, so craziness. I mean, thank God we were together for as long as we were, because that would have been really rough, and we had great family to help us out, because that's a long time to go without working when you have a house. Um... But anyway, fast forward. So thinking back to who I was then compared to who I am now 10 years later, completely different person. I've had a lot of loss over those 10 years, uh, primarily in the last four years of my family. Um, and I grew a lot mentally. I, I had to. I had to get stronger uh, in order to keep going or I would have been in a very deep depression. I was not perfect, still have days, but I, I, if things could have went really bad if I wouldn't have turned to working out as much as I did. I was working out before, but then being able to do it at home with my two little boys. Uh, and then as part of being a coach is we do personal development every day. So I literally dug myself out of a hole by reading and believing in the words and practicing gratitude and practicing journaling and goal setting and all those things. So very grateful for the past 10 years and the journey it's led me on to here um, and excited to see what the next 10 have. But what I'm talking to you today is the importance of finishing strong this year. You've got to commit to some kind of program one of the programs I need you to commit to, and here's why. I'm in between programs right now. I just finished Morning Meltdown 100 last week, and I'm starting six weeks of the work on November 4th. So I've had two weeks of just playing around, and I don't know what to do. There's so many workouts <laughs> in the library that you, you know this. There's about over a thousand different workouts that you could do, and it's too many for me. Like I started off doing some lift four because that was fun. I did some cardio from 21 Day Fix. Today I did a little more obsessed. I'm just all over the place. And I have one of my uh, friends and other coaches text me and be, she's like, what are you doing? What are, what are we doing in these next two weeks? Because I don't know what to do, right? Because when you have so much, you don't know what to choose from. But here's the importance of choosing one, one program to get you through the rest of this year because you have a set calendar, right? Every workout is listed out for you in order and what you should do it, how many minutes it's gonna take so you know what to expect. You can plan your life around it. Many of the programs have multiple rest days in them now. So if you know you're going out or something's come up and you need to shift a day, you can. Um, if you need to double up one day, you can. And the nutrition plan is there too. It's all laid out for you guys. Like, and there's, there's such power in committing and saying, I'm going to do six weeks of the work until the rest of the year. I'm going to finish out my year that. I'm going to finish 80-day obsession. I'm going to start with 21-day fix. And actually starting it and then finishing it. There's such power in that. It gives you confidence. It gives you a roadmap to know, oh, I did that. Now I can move on to the next one. If you're just in there clicking around, or maybe, maybe you haven't done a damn thing all year. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to wait it out. What's the use of doing it now? I'll just start in January. First of all, you won't start in January and guarantee it. Because if you didn't start this year, what's going to be any different about January? It's just a month. Um, and you're going to give yourself 
the consistency and the power and prove that even through holidays, guys, and there's only three real days of holidays in the calendar, um, that you can get through it. Will it be perfect? No. Will nutrition be like 100% spot on? No. It's not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be committing, being consistent by showing up every day no matter what, making adjustments where necessary, but showing up and being consistent, consistent and then completing something. So you can finish this year and this decade going, man, I am so much different than our in January of 2019, or I'm so much different from January of 2009. I'm different, I've grown, I've changed, I've morphed, and I'm ready for these next 10 years just to take off from here. I'm, I'm limitless, I, I know no bounds, and I'm ready to live the life I've always imagined. That's my challenge to you. You do not have to make that choice of a program by yourself. That's what you have me for. I know all the programs. I know what's best to get you started with. And I know how to keep you on track with accountability, right? I want you to look down at the bottom and see how far Angela's come since May. And she's not stopping, right? At any point, you can make that switch and you can have results because she committed. She's sought me out for accountability and the group of women and men, there's 80 of you out of the list of, I think over 500 some that have done it and it makes a difference. So you're ready. It's time to join and don't tell me, here I'm going to go on a little tangent. Don't tell me you have time. That's just a figment of your imagination. You have time because you have time to watch this video. You have time to scroll Instagram. You have time. We just need to prioritize it. And is it money involved? Yes. Are the holidays coming? Yes. Ask for your Christmas present early. Ask for it now. Why are you going to wait till January and put it off? Right? Or make time for you. Like, make yourself the, the priority. And that investment, and you can save now, is not that big. And it's going to change your life for an entire year. Okay, things to think about. It's good to catch up with y'all. Hope you like the rest of the newsletter and let me know how I can help. Shoot me an email. You can reply back to this email. Email me, find me on Facebook, whatever way you prefer to communicate. I'm here for you.